Okay, today we will be installing a mop sink. So here's a new drain sink we'll be installing, 142 bucks. It's a heavy duty fiberglass, comes with a three inch drain seal and the drain grate as you see here and the little two mounting clips. Overall dimensions, 24 inches by 24 inches by 10 inches tall. To give you some context, I'm installing this on a second floor janitor's closet. You can see an outline of where a mop sink used to be installed. The previous building owner took it out for some reason and cemented in the drain opening in the floor. The copper pipe you see is the drain line from the water heater pressure temperature relief valve. So underneath that floor, looking up at the first floor ceiling, you can see that pressure temperature relief valve copper pipe sticking through. You can see the P-trap and you can see there's quite an air gap between that drain pipe and the P-trap. The problem with this setup is that P-trap dries out and then you allow sewer gas into your building. So this was not really done correctly. I then used a shop vac to vacuum out any dust or debris in the P-trap below and cleaned up my work area. Next, we'll reinstall or install the new drain pipe.
to ease the installation of the drain seal, I used some liquid soap on it and then I gently tapped it in with my hammer and a flat device, like a fat pin, till it's seated. And I used this cement to glue the PVC drain pipe to that ABS adapter. That adapter adapted from 3 inch to 2 inch because the drain pipe is 2 inch. You'll note this cement will attach PVC, CPVC, and ABS. And lastly, I caulked all around the perimeter of the new mop sink, including this top edge. And then I tested the drain for any leaks. Everything looks good. The last thing I'll need to do, of course, is to reconnect that pressure temperature relief valve drain pipe. I hope this demonstration helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.